part A, we need to be solving this using partial fractions. So we go from this line and we multiply it with n square times n plus 1 square, n plus 1 whole square. We get this line. From there we put, uh, we plug in the values of n equals to 0 and n equals to minus 1. From n equals to 0 we get a and from n equals to minus 1 we get b. Now moving on to part b, we need to find out this expression over here in the form on the right side and this form. So we write this function as f of r and as the initial term is r equals to 5 we find f of r where r equals to 5. At first we will convert this using the partial fractions we have used in part a and write it as a by n square plus b by n plus 1 whole square. We know the values of a and b and using the method of differences we can find out the summation. So we calculate f of 5 and then write down f of 6 as well. We see that 1 over 6 square, 1 over 6 square cancel out. Then 1 over 7 square will cancel out with f of 7. So we are only left with 1 over 5 square over here. So now we go to f of n minus 1, which is this term over here. And then we also write f of n which is this term over here this and then we can see that this cancels out this cancels out with this and this will cancel out with this so we are only left with 1 over 5 square minus 1 over n plus 1 whole square so we can write down that sum of this from 5 to n is 1 over 5 square minus 1 over n plus 1 square 1 plus 1, 1 n plus 1 whole square I mean <clears throat> from there we can take a common denominator and doing so we get this expression and if we expand this over here we can get the expression that we that the question requires from us so we expand the square or we expand n plus 1 whole square which is n squared plus 2 n plus 1 and then we have this minus 5 square minus 25 and down there our denominator is 5 square n plus 1 whole square which is 25 n plus 1 whole square and we can write down the answer in the next line which is this.